Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Honey Bree Shines. For those who are joining me for the first time, welcome and thank you for being here today. My name is Lei and today we're going to be doing an unboxing. Um, it's going to be White Moon by Shannon Valentine. This is a Distracted by Diamonds diamond painting. And I'm going to do things a little bit different today. We're going to do the unboxing. And then I'm also going to be doing a kit up and chat. <laughs> so instead of a whip and chat, it's going to be kitting up this set. And I'll do a little chatting. So I chose this piece um, to do because I wanted to do it in honor of Chinese New Year. So for some reason, I thought Chinese New Year was next month, but no, it's this month. So I'm actually going to be doing this piece alongside with another piece. Um, so yeah. All right. So this is called White Moon by Shannon Valentine. It is a round 62 by 85 centimeter canvas. So we have the canvas here. Oh, all right. So in our kit, we got this cute little heart tray. And of course, their signature distracted by diamonds washi. We have a piece of heart wax here. And again, I love this tray. It's so cute, not only because it's a heart, but also because you can use both the lid and the compartment for trays. So you have like two trays in one. And then we also got a pen that has a single and a multi-placer. All right, so for the canvas, um, it's kind of a stiffer canvas. Um, it's still really soft like it's not like stiff stiff but it, it does have that stiffer feeling than like the normal um diamond art club that i'm used to because those are the ones that i've been doing lately um but this is a very beautiful canvas with the scalloped edges and sorry let me move this to the side and let's get this unrolled it is huge <laughs> can't even reach I need to stretch it all right let's put this off to the side all right as you can see this is distracted by diamonds so I'm gonna go ahead and roll this in reverse so you can actually do this to your canvases it's perfectly safe because it is a poured glue canvas so as long as it's poured glue, then you're fine. But it does help to straight, straighten it out a little quicker. So let's do that. And right here you can see the name. It's White Moon by Shannon Valentine. And All right, look at her. This is a really big canvas, but she is beautiful. Look at that. I love it. So yeah, this is my piece that I chose in honor of Chinese New Year. So I am going to work on this piece. This piece has 55 colors. So as you can see here on the side, you have your color legend. Oh, you know what? Let me do this instead. This might be quicker. So we have our legend and then our schematics up here. We have our original artwork here and i'll also put a a picture of it on the screen so you can see exactly what it looks like and then here's our different um, color codes so it looks like they use symbols and alphabets i don't see numerics so i think it's just symbols and alphabets but if you can see the symbols are very clear to read, so I am super happy about that. It's going to be easy to um, to see them. And then I'm kind of happy too because even though it is a big canvas, there is a 
a lot of color blocking. So if you can see up here, it's all the same symbol. So this is gonna be all color blocking. The moon for the most part is all color blocking, her skin. So, I mean, there's still quite a bit of confetti, but it's gonna be mostly, it looks like in the wings here. And, oh, here too. <laughs> there's quite a bit of confetti on this side too, but there's also some color blocking. So, yeah super fun i love it i think she's so gorgeous i can't wait to see how this thing renders because i have a feeling it's gonna be beautiful all right so along with that we have our enormous this is probably one of the biggest <laughs> sheets that i've seen but hey you know this works because this is going to go into my logbook. So we have the Smile, Sparkle, Repeat by Distracted by Dim Diamonds. We have a copy of, or a printed copy of the, the diamond art or the piece that I'm going to be working on. So there you can see it up close. And this is licensed by Shannon Valentine. So it is a licensed artwork. And then we also have our sticker sheet. And our sticker sheet... Oh, nice, it's individuals. So I won't have to use my sticker maker for this. I'll be able to stick these right onto the kit. All right, and then it also comes with, with um, a protector. You wanna use that for wherever you're working on. I don't, I mean, I guess I can't say I don't use these because I have used them before, um, but I found it, e I've been finding it a little easier to just, go along with the plastic that's already on it. Okay. All right, now to our drills. Here are our colors. Look how beautiful that is. Ooh, I like this color. We got our purples, our teals, our pinks. Totally mermaid colors. I see an A, B here. So I'm not sure if you can see that. It's an orange A, B, which is a little odd because I don't, Oh, yeah, I guess in the wings. I'm wondering if it's going to go in the wings. Well, we'll have to find that. But, yeah, we have an orange AB. I don't see any other ABs. I think it's just the one. So, let's see. Let's see what code the orange is. Oh, you know what? It actually says it right here on the sheet. So if you look, where is it? Right here. So it's number 22. Sorry about that. Not sure if you can see that, but it's it shows the symbol and then it says 742 AB. So it's kind of like this trident looking symbol. Yep, I see it in the wings right here. So it looks like the ABs are gonna be going in her wings. Beautiful, oh, as well as her dress. Nice. I'm thinking I might add some more ABs. I probably will put some ABs in the flowers. I think that would look really pretty and, and maybe sprinkle some up in the moon. And then I think a nice gold would be really nice in like her ribbon. So I think I might try that. All right. Oh, let's see. Where'd that AB go? Um, here it is. There we go. Just so that you can see it up close. Look how sparkly that is. So for you, for those who don't know, AB stands for Aurora Borealis. So it's just like a shiny coating that they put on top of the drill so that it gives it that extra sparkle. That way you can see here. Her, just so you can see it in comparison the difference but still super beautiful and they put theirs in individual baggies which is really good especially when you kit down um, and store them I store them in baggies I don't keep them in the containers because I like to use the containers um, for when I'm going to be doing my next project but yeah so this is um the drills and it it looks really good i mean i don't oh actually i do see some trash right there <laughs> um but i mean for the most part they look they look pretty good 
I don't think I'll have issues with it. I will definitely let you know in the post review though, for sure how these drills pan out. But I mean, just by looking at it, it looks good. Okay. So now I'm going to do a kit up. Um, I chose to do this kit in my bead storage solutions. This is the Elizabeth Ward um, bead storage. And um, it's very convenient because it comes in different sizes. So a lot of times when you get your drills, you're going to have some colors. For example, um, this color here, I have three bags of the same color, which obviously is not going to fit in <laughs> one of these little jars. So the good thing about this one is I can put it in a big one and be able to still kit it in the same thing without having to fill up multiple jars. And then you have like minimal colors like this, which will fit in something like this. So this is definitely a really good um, storage solution. I like, I like this for sure. Um, but yeah, so let me go ahead and grab everything I need to do the kitting up and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, I was gonna grab my funnel to do this, but personally, I don't like using the funnel just because my drills always get stuck in it. So I tried to figure out a way to um, put it in the containers without using it. If it was in the other bags, like the heat sealed bags, usually I would just cut like a little corner, which would create like a spout and I would be able to fill up my jars that way. But this one, I'm gonna have to play with it a little bit. Um, thankfully, these jars are wide mouth, so I think it should be easier to dump it in there. But yeah, I think it should be fine. All right, so let me go ahead and start with the bigger color. I don't think this will fit in here, so I'll just go ahead and use the big one since I only have two colors that have multiple baggies. So this is 3865. So I'm just gonna find the code on here, 3865. And I'll go ahead and stick it right in the front. You can stick it on the top or on the front. I personally wanna do it in the front just because as I'm grabbing um, drills to do this painting, I wanna be able to see what number it is from the front. All right, so anyway, um, for the chat portion of this, um, basically, it's been a pretty exciting week this week. Um, I did get my Instagram up and running. So for those of you who haven't seen it, um, you can find me on Instagram. It is Honeybree Shines, and that's H-U-N-N-I-B-R-I s-h-i-n-e-s and um basically i'm just gonna post like if i have any like giveaways or contests and which i do have one running now um yeah i'm actually gonna have to put this in another container it doesn't even fit um but i am running one right now and it is going to be a giveaway of a diamond painting and so if you go on my Instagram, you'll be able to find the instructions on how to enter. And I also post um, just updates on either my current projects or projects that I've, I've already completed. That way you can see um, what I've already gotten done and um, or what I'm what I'm doing currently. I'm going to see if these can come off. Uh, nope, it can't. Okay, that's fine. But yeah, so definitely um, exciting for that. And um, again, if you haven't followed me, please follow me on Instagram. Um, I would be more than happy to to have you on there. And um, I'll also have updates on like when I'll be posting new videos as well. But you can also subscribe and um hit the bell on here which will also tell you when i have a new video posted this is such a pretty color i absolutely love this teal it's really pretty so yeah so that's what i kind of have new on that end um 
I'm going to be working on multiple projects. I've actually been watching a lot of um, other YouTube videos um, and just kind of learning more about diamond painting and um, what the diamond community has to offer. And there's just a lot out there. You know, there's so much that I thought I knew, but I didn't know. <laughs> so it's very exciting to kind of learn um what other people do and what their methods are um because everyone will kind of do their own thing what what's comfortable for them but at the same time it's nice to just see what other people are doing because you are able to still adopt you know new things that you learn and it might help you with your diamond paintings and i've found that so one thing I never thought I would do was have multiple projects going at once. And I've just always done one project at a time. So it was kind of weird to, um, to even entertain the thought of having multiple projects at the same time. But then I watched some videos and... Um, how other diamond painters were talking about doing multiple projects and it made a lot of sense you know they do it because it kind of breaks up the monotony of doing the same project or sometimes you might have one project that has a lot of color blocking and again it can it can get monotonous and you want something a little more fun and and maybe a little more confetti heavy so they have another project on the side that they can do a more confetti heavy project that'll keep them um, busy. And then when they're looking for something more mellow, they go back to um, their color blocking project. So I thought that was really smart because this last project that I finished, which was um, the, bat, the Bat Signal Calls by um, Diamond Art Club, it was definitely a color blocking piece. I feel like almost the entire painting was color blocking. And so it did kind of get a little monotonous doing it. I did have to like take breaks here and there from doing it. Um, and then also like I'm such a fan of bright colors. Like I love pink and purple. So this diamond art was literally grays and blacks and yellow, which was probably the most exciting of the whole thing because the rest of it was just gray and black. And so it did get like, I kind of got to the point where I was like, oh my gosh, is this almost done? <laughs> and so I do think that having multiple projects um, going at once can be helpful for that, you know? And because some days you want something like that where you just can chill and do something simpler. And then some days you're like, oh, I'm ready to do something just more tedious. And that's when you bring out your confetti heavy projects. And so I think that's what I'm going to do. This is going to be the first time I'm doing multiple multiple pieces at once. So I'll let you know how that goes. <laughs> I'm hoping it goes okay. I'm nervous, but I'm optimistic. But yeah, so that's kind of what's going on on that end. And um, I'm very excited to get started on these new pieces because I'm trying to do pieces from other companies. Um, a lot of my projects have been are are diamond art club excuse me diamond art club projects and um i didn't really delve into the different other company diamond arts that i do have so i definitely want to do that so that i can see the quality and how their rendering comes out especially when you're so used to one company like diamond art club who's amazing at their um diamond paintings that you kind of just want to know like if there's other companies out there that produce quality products like that as well so yeah i'm excited um this is distracted by diamonds so 
it is going to be a different company. And just by looking at the, the picture alone, it just looks gorgeous. I can't wait. And I'm kind of happy that it's in round diamonds. I don't know if it's just me, um, but I feel like round diamonds gives it more of a watercolory feel, like a soft feel to it um, because it's not so straight edged like the square diamonds. And I feel like some paintings should have that. And again, that's just my personal preference. Um, but I'm curious, what do you think? I would love to hear your thoughts on that. Um, so comment down below on what you think the difference is between square and round drills in terms of how the artwork turns out. Um, also, do you have a preference? Um, I've only done one square painting before and it did take a little getting used to in the beginning because it's it's a lot harder to place than rounds um, and I'm a perfectionist so when I'm like looking at these drills and if they look even in the slightest crooked to me <laughs> it bugs me so I was like spending so much time just trying to get the drill straight or what I felt was straight and it became a very tedious process so I think that square drills for me anyway take a little bit longer just because of that um wanting to make it like absolutely perfect thankfully round diamonds I feel like it doesn't really have that because it's round so you can't put a round drill down crooked <laughs> but I mean you can line them up crooked and of course that bugs me too and I straighten that out but just in terms of putting placing the drills down you can just place them and it, they're round so it doesn't matter if the corner is a little turned in because <laughs> there is no corner but yeah so I don't know I guess it's like it's not that I don't like squares, but um, I do like rounds. I guess that's the easiest way to put it. Um, yeah, so definitely excited that this is round. My other project is also round. I actually already recorded the unboxing for that and I was gonna post that video first, um, but I decided to do this one because of one my mom reminded me that chinese new year is this month <laughs> so i kind of had to get this one done and then two um i also wanted to talk about um the giveaway that i'm having so because i had recorded the other one before um even going through my stash and i'm not sure if you saw my photo on instagram my stash is huge so I'm definitely de-stashing and um, I just wanted to share the diamond paintings. You know, there's so many diamond paintings that I have that um, I know I probably won't be able to get to, you know. So realistically, um, I figured, you know what, I want to do a giveaway because I know there's some people out there who has never tried diamond painting, but absolutely want to try diamond painting you know and so i thought that would be a really fun contest to do and so what i want to do is on top of the instagram giveaway that i'm doing i also want to do a youtube giveaway so this giveaway is going to be a little different i actually want to know if you are a diamond painter already or if you're new to diamond painting and i guess what would you say is new um i would say you know diamond painting for a few months would be technically new to me or someone who's never diamond painted and um so i want to know and if you want to enter to win a free diamond painting um it's 
simple. You basically have to subscribe to my channel and then you have to like this video and then put a comment down below. Um, I want to know whether you've been diamond painting for a long time um, or if you just started diamond painting. And I'm going to have two giveaways. One is going to be for people who are new to diamond painting because I definitely want someone who has never diamond painted before to be able to try it. And then I'm also going to do a giveaway for um, ones who, you know, have been diamond painting. And I think that's only fair, you know. But again, I do want to share it. Um, I feel like it's a really, really good remedy, especially for stress and anxiety. And I encourage everyone who has not tried it to try it. Um, I understand that it may not be for everyone, but you never know. I mean, you might try it and you might love it. And it might be how you are able to cope with certain things, you know? So that's basically why I wanted to do this giveaway. Um, I'll also put the instructions down below. That way um, you can see and remember <laughs> how to do it, how to enter. But yeah, that's kind of where I'm at in terms of this giveaway. And um, I'm excited. I'm really excited to, to share this with everyone. Um, yeah, sorry. I'm not trying to ramble or anything, but I'm realizing that this kit has a lot of colors and it would be kind of awkward to have silence <laughs> while I'm kidding up. So I'm just trying to talk about things. Um, oh, you know what? One thing I am interested in doing now is the whipping chat. So I love diamond painting while watching whipping chats. So I don't know if any of you do that. It's actually kind of fun. Um, it makes you feel like you're diamond painting along with, <laughs> with whoever you're watching. And I love that, you know, like I love being able to relax and just listen to other people's stories and um, watch them diamond paint. And sometimes I, I look. I watch their technique, you know, because again, you can always learn. And I feel like sometimes when you watch other people do it, you kind of pick up different techniques. And so I like doing that. So I'm definitely interested in starting a whip and chat. I do want to try and get one out this week. So it'll be my very first whip and chat. I'm going to try and do it weekly. If I can do it more, if I can manage to do it more, then I will. But a lot of my diamond painting time comes after my babies are asleep. So I have mama duties first, and then um, I sit down and relax and diamond paint. So yeah, so if time allows, I will try to do more than one. But if time doesn't allow, then I will definitely try to do one. <laughs> and so, yeah, definitely excited for that. And I hope that all of you will follow along with me on that journey. And hopefully, eight one nine. Hmm. Sorry, I am seen. Okay. I have 819 here and I have 819 here, but this looks like blue. Um, where's 818? Let's see if this is 818. Okay. Yeah, because 818 on here looks blue too. So it probably was the printer. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Um, I just like to make sure because I have mistakenly kitted up before and it sucked. I had to figure out, it was literally two blues, like almost like this, but a lot closer in color. 
and I had to figure out which one was which. It was so bad. But eventually I did and painting came out beautiful. So I'm happy about that. But yeah, this can be really boggling, especially if the stickers, you're expecting the stickers to look like the color and it doesn't. Then you're like, wait, what? But anyway, but yeah, so back to my whipping chat. Oh, look, I have some gem or jewels here that I'm going to have to put away later. But yeah, so hopefully again, I can get that out this week and um, we can talk some more and do some diamond painting. There's my turkey. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm excited for that. And I think that's kind of it that I have for the diamond painting. I have my Instagram and YouTube. I've got my two projects going now um chinese new year um whip and chat i think i've pretty much covered everything on the diamond painting side oh you know what actually one thing i did want to touch on so diamond painting if you're getting into diamond painting um there's just so much to know about it you know like i'm gonna be honest when i first learned about diamond painting i didn't even know that there was licensed artist diamond paintings and so it was really good to educate myself on that because apparently there's a lot of stolen artwork out there that these artists don't get compensated for it and i feel like they should you know i mean it's their drawings <laughs> so they should get compensated for it and that's kind of what um that's kind of what it does you know so when you buy licensed artwork the company that you're buying from is compensating their artists which is very important um, i would hate to be an artist and not be compensated for my work especially if it is being sold so that is one thing that i learned um oh look i have another 310 um let's combine this if this sticker will come off so yeah so that's kind of the thing about license artwork and when i first learned about license artwork the only company that honestly i knew of licensed diamond art was diamond art club and so when you're new to something you know you get excited and you're like oh my gosh what is this about and you want everything <laughs> and i'm gonna tell you right now to kind of i guess research your options and see what else is out there because although diamond diamond art club has beautiful beautiful diamond paintings like i have a lot of diamond art club um there are other companies out there that also have licensed artwork and um that's how i found like dreamer designs and craftably and oraloa and then of course distracted by diamonds on etsy so it's just kind of like doing your homework i guess so to speak um because now i have all these diamond paintings that i'm trying to that I'm gonna have to de-stash, not even trying to, I'm going to have to de-stash. I don't think this is going to fit. Okay, sorry guys. Um, but yeah, so it just, I wish, I honestly wish I did my homework first and, you know, saw all the different companies. Oh, I'm making a mess, shoots. Um, because there's so many other artists out there with different companies that um, have artwork licensed and they have some beautiful pieces, you know? And that way you kind of have time to do all the ones that you have. And one artist that I absolutely love is Cheriuki. Um, her artwork can be found on Dye Moon Shop 
as well as Diamond Shop. And I'm going to swap these just so that I have the black there. Um, a new company called Jaded, Jaded Gem Shop. She also carries a few Cherokees. And oh my gosh, her artwork is like so beautiful. But it's just things like that, you know? Um, knowing what else is out there and being able to see all your options first before you make a decision. So that is one tip that I learned. I guess you could say the hard way, but yeah. And um, then there's this talk of drills, that there's acrylic drills and then there's resin drills. Personally, I don't know the difference. Um, I would love to learn the difference um, because I hear that it can matter, so to speak, especially in terms of trash and quality of the quality of the drills. So I am curious. I mean, I don't know if any of you out there know the difference or can spot the difference and i wouldn't mind knowing how you do that or what in your mind or what in your terms is the difference and see if i can spot the same thing but um yeah i know that certain companies like jada gem shop she does resin drills so i'm curious to see how that ends up being I think, I mean, that's basically all the tips I have. <laughs> um, yeah, but in terms of, I guess, the daily life, um, life is going. My son is going to be seven months this month, so that's exciting. Um, he's growing so fast and... Um, as you know, he was a preemie, but he is definitely healthy and strong. It's funny because the last time we took him to his well baby checkup, immediately the doctor was like, he is not a preemie. <laughs> he's so big. So we're definitely thankful for that, that he's healthy and strong and um, growing more than appropriately. And... Um, my daughter, she is doing amazing as well. Um, so my daughter, who is twin to my son that passed, she is in the process of learning to walk and she is doing amazing. I mean, um, she does have a trach and a G-tube. So unfortunately it does restrict her a little bit but she is so strong like she is trying really hard to get her steps going and standing and um at this moment i am proud to say that she is able to stand not on her own she does have assistance but she stands she takes steps um as long as we're holding her hand so i'm just i'm so proud of her i mean for a baby born at 23 weeks um she has gone through so much in her little life and i'm just so proud of her um she's definitely strong and i admire her so much and i'm so proud to be her mommy and yeah so that's kind of how that's going and then my older kiddos are back to school so it's not as chaotic at home, <laughs> but yeah, um, it's, it was fun having them home for winter break, you know, and now they're back in school and I think I missed my peace and quiet a little bit, but sometimes it can get a little too quiet and, um, but yeah that's kind of how things are going right now and in fact i am actually 
going on a little very very little vacation <laughs> with my family um my husband has to work so um we have to cut it short but my brother is in town with his family so we're gonna meet up with them and have like a little mini vacation and i'm really excited for that um i live very far from a lot of my family so um it's really nice to be able to spend some time with them and see them when they're visiting um but yeah i am looking at my colors and i am thinking i will need another storage so i may have to pause you and grab my other storage because my other storage i have another one like this but it's all the minis which i think should fit the smaller baggies so i'm just gonna try and see if i can find all the bigger baggies and do it that way but yeah let me go ahead um and grab those other storages and i'll be right back all right guys i'm so sorry i took a little bit longer break than i expected um i had to tend to my baby but i am back and i actually did more of the kidding up because it was taking a, a little bit longer um so what i did was i just kind of swapped out some of the jars or containers that i didn't need and grabbed more of the little ones because a lot of these jams as you can see um it's not a whole bunch of them so i didn't want to waste room and have to carry around two um of these containers if i while i'm diamond painting if i don't need both of them especially if there's like a bunch of empty jars so yeah so i just combine them and then another thing as i was kidding up the rest i found another ab so it is this one here so it's the 208 ab and it's a purple color so pretty so there actually is a b's in the flower so this one is the p sign so yeah i see them all kind of scattered here in the flowers so i'm happy about that because like i said i wanted to put some a b's in the flowers and then um yeah i mean i have crystals and i just got jellies um which i'm going to do an unboxing of that it's supposed to be coming in next week so i may hold off on some areas so that i can add those um, sparkly jelly gels from mooney made um but yeah i'm like super excited for those but yeah so this is the final one let me just get this one in the jar real quick and that's it for the labels so as you can see labels are cleared out i can go put this in my log book now and then i can't wait to get started on this piece like i said she's absolutely beautiful and i am doing this for um for chinese new year i just wanted to do something fun and then um i'm also working another on another piece which i'll go ahead and probably post that video tomorrow that way it's not like whoa she was talking about another one where's that video <laughs> so i'll go ahead and post that video tomorrow and um oh another quick thing is these are the washi tapes that i chose um i'm probably going to use this red one but i don't have a lot of it so i'm hoping that this is enough to do the edges um because that's the one i really want to use for the edges if not i may have to use this one instead and then this is going to be for my sectioning so yeah so these are the washies that i chose and um i think that's it i mean i talked about um a lot of things <laughs> sorry kind of rambled on in this in this episode um but i just didn't want to have awkward silence as i was kidding up and then um yeah discuss my plans don't forget about the giveaway that i'm doing again i'm gonna post the instructions on here so that you can see how to enter and then um my goal is to announce the winner probably on february 1st but it's going to depend on um kind of what's going on in my life <laughs> and also what's going on on um, youtube and instagram so i'll see how that kind of works out and pans out but 
yeah, I'm hoping to have it chosen in a couple weeks. I'll definitely keep you guys posted. Check out my Instagram for more notifications on that. I'll definitely update on there. And um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this little kidding up and chat and as well as unboxing this beautiful white moon by Shannon Valentine distracted by diamonds piece which you can find on etsy i'll definitely post their shop um, below all right oh and don't forget please please like subscribe and hit the bell for any future videos i would really appreciate that all right guys bye